We collaborate with people from Alaska all the way to Japan and many places in between. We have a whole series of students, postdocs, and early career researchers, and everybody's just marveling at these images. For months, a UTSA professor of astrophysics and students have been finalizing, or rather analyzing, mesmerizing images from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. They've made discoveries using a technique to enhance the image quality. And our Tiffany Huerta shares how one of the students involved in this project says his passion for science was sparked during a military deployment. My passion for astronomy sort of came back. Uh, to light when I was in uh, in Afghanistan on patrols at nights. Mason Leist says growing up, he was always curious about astronomy. But while deployed in Afghanistan with the U.S. Army, his passion for science grew stronger. We would look up at the sky and uh, very, very dark skies, very, very pretty skies. Um, but that's sort of where my, my interest was rekindled. After returning to the U.S., Leist went back to school. I served uh, active duty army and then I separated from the military in 2015, uh, enrolled in the Alamo Colleges, uh, and then transferred to UTSA. At UTSA, he earns a bachelor's degree in physics and a master's degree in physics. Then his journey led him to a unique project, studying images from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. It is incredibly humbling uh, to be a part of, not, not, not just to be a part of our, our paper that we published, which I, I tell people represents the efforts of uh, 35 people from institutes in 14 different countries, uh, but also be a part of this, this telescope. The UTSA graduate research assistant led a study published in the Astronomical Journal on the best method to improve these images. What we have done using uh, advanced uh, image processing techniques uh, known as deconvolution is we've uh, enhanced some of the faint dust features uh, within this galaxy. Leist worked with UTSA professor of astrophysics, Chris Packham. What we're discovering by using these images is we're peering into the very centers of these supermassive black holes and we're seeing the interaction of the galaxy with that black hole and we're seeing how gas and dust are being devoured and falling into that black hole. Packham says they are just getting started. We have new images coming from uh, the JWST. We've been allocated more time in the future to use the telescopes. Leist has a message for students with an interest in science. Stay motivated and continue, continue to be curious. Tiffany Huertas, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.